Hello, Carmina. You are alone. Just the two of us. Low floor. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was How your day? The teacher? Good, and you? Good, too. Good. Okay, that's good. I am tired. Tired? Why? Yes. Why are you tired? Because, because uh, I have a hard day. Hard day. Difficult day. Difficult day. Hard day. Okay. okay. So it was like a hectic day. Okay, a day without, with a lot of... Um, a, a lot of work. A lot of work, yes. Stay busy. A lot of activities. Yes. Okay, good. That's all right, but you are alive. <laughs> okay, that's the good thing. Okay, and what are your plans for next week? That you are going to be on vacation? In the next week, um, I guess the English. Uh, in your life, let's say, because remember next week is Christmas. I guess the... the on, on yes. Thursday. Um, I work. Como digo trabajo hasta mediodía? I work. I work until noon. I work until noon. Until noon. The listen. Until noon. I do. Can you hear me? I work. Until noon. Yes. Okay, so that means middle of the day. Oh, okay. Okay. I work until noon. Mm -hmm. And then, and what are your plans? Okay. Um, uh, I spend time with my family. Uh -huh. uh, eat a lot of eat. <laughs> eat a lot of food. Eat a lot of food. I love the. Turkey. Yes, I love turkey. the turkey. Okay, that's good. And who cooks that day in your house? My mom cooks. Oh, okay, your mom cooks. And then you, you rest. She, she's cooked very delicious. <laughs> okay, yes. The experience. Uh, experience. Yes. And where, where do you celebrate? In your house or? In your mother's house? Uh, I live with my mother. Oh, okay. So you celebrate together? Yes. Okay. And you my siblings come my home. Oh. Oh, okay, that's good. 
so in you, my grandmother too. Okay, so your your uh, your house is crowded that day. Huh? Yes. Okay, it's good. It's a nice celebration. All right, good. Hello, it is. How are you? How are your plans for next week, Iris? Iris, it is. Brenda. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Every day. You look. You look very fresh. Uh, yes. And happy. Ah, sí. <laughs> uh, un poquito agitada llegando. <laughs> ah, okay, that's why. Yes. You, you, you've, been, you've been running, corriendo. Sí. Okay, good. No ok, ahora, clase. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out, relax. Ok. Es como el karate kid. Breathe. Ok. Breathe in. Ya la llega. Breathe out. <laughs> ok. Ok, good. All okay. right. Okay, then we only have two more classes, right? Today and tomorrow. And then uh, we have vacation, probably, I don't know exactly. Maybe two, one, two, maybe two weeks and a half or three weeks. You're gonna have a vacation. Okay, so you're gonna have, uh, you will have to, to practice your English, you know, you will have to find a way to listen to music, uh, probably, you know, watch some uh, videos in English, uh, do some reading, uh, maybe watch a movie, right? Also, it's a... Uh, and, okay, Iris. Okay. Having, well, I just having some problems. Okay, so these are some tips, right? Try to to read news, the news in, in English. Also, the the watch a movie in uh, in English, probably with the captions in English. So you watch and read in English. Listen to your favorite music in English. The music that you like okay you can listen to that in english too and uh probably with your cell phone pueden grabar su voz you can record your voice leer en voz alta right the articles so that you practice then después escuchan and then si les gusta lo dejan si no lo borran right and then you try again the idea is to that you can you keep you continue practicing, okay, in these weeks, okay, because uh, if you stop for two weeks, al parar dos semanas is, is too much. Okay, dos, tres semanas sounds, you know, like, like a long time, okay, especialmente en un proceso de aprendizaje, you need to, you know, to be constant. It's like going to the gym, right? If you are going to the gym and then you stop for two weeks, después vuelven los dolores, right? When you start again, it's difficult, and then uh, you don't want to start again. So you have to, we have to continue this on this vacation, okay? Good. Uh, let me see what else. Uh, we have, uh, uh, Roberto is trying to connect. Iris is having problems with the audio. Carmina, well, Carmina is here, I don't know. Can you hear me, Carmina? Can you hear me, Flor, perfectly? Yes, okay. And you, Brenda, you can hear me? Yes, yeah, because uh, Iris is having some problems too. She cannot hear very well. Then probably it's the connection. Okay, let's see. Well, yesterday we were practicing with the quantifiers, remember, right? And then we have the um, knowledge check. Mm -hmm. 
and then we were talking about the the 50 percent the 87 percent and when we use these words in the united states we have the city percent so nearly all all uh, no one 35 percent is most no no sorry sorry some and the 78 percent we have most okay and then for today we have a um, a reading It says, in this lesson, participants will read an article about families and their changes. Okay, so then what are some changes that families have? Okay. Sometimes, you know, the families go, well, not only the families, right? The, everybody in general, we go through many changes, right? What are some changes in our life? For example, we are children, and then we are teenagers, then we are adults, okay? When we are adults, we, we get married, or we get a job, or we move to another country, or what, what is another change? When we are adults. get married, get a job, uh, travel to other countries, or move, move to other countries. What else? What is something else? The study? graduate change, yep. uh -huh. change you change from change one job. job to another job okay uh, the responsibilities right sometimes you have a uh, few responsibilities but in probably after that you have more responsibilities you have a job in your job you have more responsibilities you get married and then in your house you have more responsibilities uh, probably you study a master's degree and okay, you finish uh, we finish our career in the, in the university then uh, there is another change uh, when we study a master or in this case when we learn another language okay uh, sometimes we move, we move from one house to another house okay so then the life is constantly 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 changing right so this is and the families too right the families also suffer some changes an example of that we have here the changing family right Okay, because this family has has suffered some changes for different reasons. Okay, uh, Brenda, can you read this part here in red? Hello, Brenda. Uh, These two lines. Uh -huh. uh, Read. Uh, mm, Leia. Uh, Judy? No, Le Le Lea is a double. Ah, perdón. Okay. Yes. Read, read. Uh -huh. Okay. Read the 
title of the article, the second, the question you think, the article. The article. Will, the article. The article uh, will ask well, why do women work ox, ox, outside, outside, outside the house? Uh, what Japan? Japan? What happened? When both parents work. When both parents work. Okay, what happens when both parents work? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a situation, for example, very, very typical nowadays. Okay, this happens, you know, that, uh, for example, in, um, in my case, I work and my wife works. Okay, so the two work. Uh, Flor, in your case, you work, right? And your husband, too. Yes. Okay, so then this is, you know, for example, that uh, in some cases, in El Salvador, probably we have the advantage or the blessing, no sé si ventaja o bendición, I think it's bendición, right? The blessing that sometimes our mother, our mother, eh, la mamá del, or the, the father or the mother of the mother, takes care of the children, right? Saber si quedan con la abuela en la casa, and then that's, eso es una gran, una gran ayuda, right? Okay, so then, but in other countries, in other countries, sometimes this is not possible. Okay, so this is more difficult. Okay, here in El Salvador, there are some cases, right? But in other countries, it's more common. Okay, so then, Flor, can you read the, the first paragraph here? Okay, teacher. This first part. Mm -hmm. American families are changing. One important change is that most married woman not work outside the home. What happens when both parents work? Read about the moral family. Okay, continue. Judy and Steve Morales have three children. Josh, 12, then 9, and Emily, 6. Steve is a computer programmer. This year, Judy is working and Gay has a hospital administrator. The family needs the money, and Judy likes her job. Everything, everything is going well, but there are also some problems. Very good. Questions about the vocabulary in those two paragraphs? Alguien, any questions? No. no. Okay, good. Robert, Carmina, it is the problem. Okay. Then, uh, Robert, can you read this part and this one, these two parts? Hello, Robert. He has problem with yeah, the microphone. Yeah, maybe. I guess. He has problem with the microphone. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, oh, yes, he's... Um, I have problem with the chat. <laughs> okay. Okay, Robert, no problem. No problem. I can see now. Thank you. And I don't know, Iris, who can, who can read? Carmina, can you? Hola. Okay, can you hear? Can you read these two paragraphs? Now. Uh, now that Judy is working, Steve has to help her more with the housework. Housework. Yes. He doesn't enjoy it. Good. Continue, Judy. Judy loves her work, but it feels too tired, tired, and bus, and busy. 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 He's also worries about the children 
Judy has to work on Saturday. So Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Okay, very good. Okay, so see, this is a big, big problem, right? In these days. Imagine now Judy is working, Steve, now he has to cook, wash the dishes maybe, uh, probably wash clothes or go to the supermarket. Okay, he has to do housework. And, you know, he doesn't enjoy it, right? Okay. Uh, you know, sometimes you have to wash dishes, or sometimes you have to go to the supermarket. Uh, sometimes you have to probably clean the house, right? So we have to help. And Judy, Judy loves her work. Okay, she likes to probably do some professional things, but she feels very tired, right, and busy. Then she also worries about the children. She has to work on Saturdays. And then they don't have time for each other. No tienen tiempo para ellos, right? They don't have time for each, time for each other. Only for work, work, and the children. Okay, so that is very difficult and it's a reality. Okay, this is uh, about Steve. This is about Judy. And now let's see Emily. Emily's having a great time in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she, didn't, she doesn't want to leave. Okay, so Emily is happy in the school. Okay, in the activities after the school, uh, probably because in the house, she doesn't have another person to, to play with, right? Because probably they are, you know, probably uh, the two brothers, Ben and Josh, probably they are doing other activities, right? And they are boys, she's a girl. So this is another difficulty. Okay, unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have an after school program. Okay, so that means that when Ben finishes school, he has to go back to the house. And right now, he is spending most afternoons in front of the TV. Okay, so that's a big problem for him because probably he's not studying, he's not doing homework, and then he's only wasting his time on TV. And then Josh. Josh is enjoying his new freedom, okay? He, has, he doesn't have the pressure of his father and his mother. After school, he's playing his music louder and spending more time on the phone. Okay, so you imagine he gets to the house and boom, 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 boom with the music. Okay, and the telephone and chatting with the friends. But there is one thing good. He is also doing a few household chores. Probably he cleaned his bedroom, maybe. Probably he, he does the dishes. He's doing some household chores, okay? Then, see if you have any questions. Alguna pregunta de vocabulary, expresiones, expressions. If you have problems with the microphone, you can write on the chat. Okay, put it on the chat and I will read your questions. What is household chores? Household chores. Eh, sería como eh, tareas para el mantenimiento de la casa. Okay. Like quehaceres. Okay, los quehaceres de la casa. Like, it's similar to, house, similar to housework. 
Okay. Cook. Okay. Wash dishes. Mop. Como los deberes de la casa. Ajá. Uh Ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, well. That's correct. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? You notice when the expression, for example, after school, we have also the after work. Okay, the the after work, uh, the after party. Right. Remember, there is an expression, something that when the party finishes, then some people try to do to continue with the party. Right. Uh, after work, there are some other activities. And they are usually uh, after hour, after work hours, probably go to have dinner, uh, you go to the, probably to the cinema, do other activities. The after school programs, children sometimes play football, uh, they play, well, they, they do uh, some reading depending on the children's hobbies, right? Some like to read, uh, include the tareas, right? Homework, uh, homework assignments club. Uh, there are some others that they do dancing, swimming, okay? Depends on the school and depends on the, on the program, okay? Uh, let's see. How oh, you can see. Ben doing nothing, and Josh part of household chores and part doing nothing. Okay. Okay. No question. Now let's see the answers to these questions. Which children are benefited? benefiting from duty from duty working who has more benefits who has more benefits Emily and Josh Emily and Josh yes right Emily with the school program right and Josh because he's watching TV Okay, and he has no pressure. A, which child is not benefiting from Judas working? Ben. Ben. Because he he listens to music, uses the phone, but he has to work. He has some some uh, responsibilities, but he has some responsibilities. Which family member is enjoying more freedom? Which of the three? Emily, Josh, or Ben? Josh. Uh, let me say yes. Yes, right? Josh. Yeah, because he's the one watching TV. He's the one watching the TV all the time. Which family members are doing more housework? Steve. Mm, yeah, probably. Ah, well, no. yes, Steve and Josh. Uh -huh, because they have, a, probably they have divided the housework the two and which family member feels too busy judy judy right she likes her job but she feels very busy okay so these are the answers okay so emily and josh they have the benefit because Judy is working. Ben. And 
pen is the one who has more benefits, doesn't have a program after school, and he spends the afternoon in front of the people. The, the one that enjoys more freedom too is Josh. Steven Josh. Have more work, household, and housework. They use two synonyms. And Judy, right? Who feels very busy. Good. All right. And let me see. Yes, Josh. Yes, Robert. Okay, one question. This is for Okay, this is a question and and I would like to to read voy a leer o a escuchar your opinions, right? What do you think about women working outside the house? ¿Qué opinan de que las mujeres trabajen afuera de casa? Sin, uh, let's say, uh, Eh, sin digamos sin tinte machista solo what's the uh -huh, just a, what's your opinion okay just uh, because uh, I say this because some, what happens suppose that your husband for this para las señoras right suppose that your husband has a good job you don't need money in the house okay Siempre trabajarían si tuvieran un esposo que tiene buen trabajo, no necesitan dinero, eh, están cubiertos, right? ¿Trabajarían siempre? Yes. Ok, ajá, that's, that's, eso es lo que quiero escuchar, right? But, uh, yeah. the, and the reasons why, ok? Because um, the job is good for the life and you can, you get a money, your money, and you can buy your things and buy clothes, clothing, makeup, um, a lot of things you can, how do you say, regalar? Uh, give away, give away. Give. You can give a um, present for the family, your mother, your nephews, niece, sister. You can give away presents, uh-huh. Okay. And you can, ¿cómo se dice ahorrar? Save. You can save and you can buy your things, for example, your car, your house, and if your husband, a motorcycle. <laughs> and if your husband can give you that? Sorry? Suppose in the hypothetical case, in the caso hypothetical, that your husband can give you that? Um, I think, yo siempre trabajar, I think always job, because it, me sentiera como realizada, no sé cómo Okay, decirlo. you feel like more independent? Yes, uh -huh. More because, independent? Uh, the job, um, you can learn about things, you can, um, I don't know, um, Get more you can, you can be busy. And it's good for the, for, ¿cómo se dice para la salud? For the health. For the health, yes. Okay, very good. All right, good, no problem. And it is the woman needs 
job outside the house. Why it is? No, because the um, I feel I feel in the I feel uh, utterly <laughs> useful. Useful. Mm -hmm. Useful. Okay. Yes. What? Mm -hmm. Useful. I feel useful. I sent a wiki, right? So I feel useful. Okay, it's a good reason. It's a good reason. Fine. What else? ¿Qué otra opinión? Ay, no sé. Yo pienso que la mujer tiene que trabajar. El trabajo en la casa siempre existe, ¿no? Sí. Yes. Pero eh, se debe de trabajar, pues, como una autorre, autorrealización. To propia, develop. ¿no? Uh -huh. Personal growth. Ok, como un crecimiento. Yeah. Personal growth. Ok, crecimiento personal, right? And you have to go with personal growth, okay. Sounds good. All right, good, 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 no problem. That's nice. And what else? Any other opinion? What's another thing that you think we should do about this case? Es complejo el tema, teacher, porque... I, I know. Porque uh, yo he trabajado de siempre, quizás. Eh, desde que recuerdo como los 13 años, mi papá mm. tenía negocio y he trabajado. Pero, por ejemplo, ahorita estoy sin trabajar y digo, ¿cuánto pierdo de mis hijos? Uh-huh, exactly. That's is similar to your case series. I have worked desde que tenía cabal, 11, 12 años, I remember that. Doing things with my father, with my mother, in the business, exacto. Then after, eh, I work, casi siempre trabajé de la, in the school, from seven to four, y después en academia, from four to eight. Then, sé que trabajaba de siete a ocho a la noche. And then I, Yo veía a mis hijos, you know, very little time, only weekends, vacations, and now with this pandemic, in this pandemic, I have been, you know, almost one year with them, 10 months, aquí viéndolo, and then I said, oh my goodness, all the things that, you know, that, that I missed, hoy me cuentan lo que hacían cuando estaban chiquitos, como les hacía falta, and then, oh my goodness, I almost cried. <laughs> Okay, I, uh, hoy me dicen todo lo que, cómo hoy viven lo que no vivieron cuando eran tan pequeños, right? Entonces, tengo una de nueve que es la que está aprovechando ahorita, lo que los otros no aprovecharon. Okay, so then, but, but it's true, it is, you know, it's very complex. It's very, uh, it's complex the, the case because sometimes I think it's good to work because you need the money, you need, uh, you need to give them good education, you get, need to give them a lot of things. But, uh, but also you need to give them quality time, right? You need to give them time. You need to give them time, aunque no sea de calidad, y quality time too, okay? Ambos, right? Because it's, it's, it's good, you know, to have special moments and 
and moments in general. Okay, what about you, Brenda? What do you think? Brenda, are you married? No, huh? No. No. <laughs> Suena a ni quiero, right? <laughs> sí, sí, quiero, pero dentro de un okay. tiempo. Ahorita right. no. Okay, good. Sí. And what do you um, think? Do you want to continue I, working or not? Yes. I want working my... I, no, espérame. I will work to practice in my profession. Uh -huh. You're a lawyer, right? Sí. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, ¿Cómo es que se dice? Licenciatura, ficha. BA. BA, BA. 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 Ok. Para Departing, BA en Chile. Ah, ok. Es bueno. de educación popular. Y también, uh, because, uh, to have a sangre. Uh, para seguir ahorrando. Saving. Saving ah, money. City? Ok, Siri Made. Eh, uh, Aboy, lo necesito para comprar lo necesario. The necessary things, to buy okay. the necessary things, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, I think it's. Tener mis propias cosas. Uh -huh. To have your own, to have my own things. Yes, it's very important. I think, uh, I think it's work. The problem is probably uh, that. The opportunities that we have sometimes yes. are not exactly what we need, right? Suppose if we, si fuera fácil encontrar trabajos aquí, yo trabajaría probably. Eh, la, fuera. Un, un, año, un, un año sí, un año no, right? Or some like that. Or un año sí, dos meses no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that you okay. can, para tener unos, break, unos breaks. Mm -hmm. para, Aunque horrible, ahorita trabajo de maestra si no se puede, uh -huh. si no hay, pero. De cualquier otra cosa, primero ya exactly. me salga. Exactly, right. So that's, but this is the yes. problem, right? Sí. Es que cuando uno agarra un trabajo tiene que aprovechar hasta que, hasta trabajar los domingos, if it is possible. And then, yes, uh, yes. that's the difficult part, right? About it. Mm -hmm. But at least there is a satisfaction, right? That you are getting some money, you are providing food to your children, and you can save money and and try to have your own things. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Okay. Yes. So that's a conversation about life. Right? You know, this is uh, the reality. And then uh, try to practice your English, thinking uh, uh, about real situations, right? Uh, este tipo de práctica es el que tienen que tratar de hacer siempre. Porque es el, el inglés que ustedes necesitan, inglés para la vida, right? Uh, to be thinking, como digo esto, como digo aquello, okay, in the moment of, of speaking or giving your opinions, all right? So, let me see if uh, I still have the... We're going to do the last practice with how much and how many. Okay, this is it. Hey, how much sugar would you like to in your coffee? And then you have just a little, please, right? Then uh, could I have a, a key? Para pedir, ofrecer, se puede usar some. 
en preguntas. Ok. Son los únicos casos. Para pedir algo, could you, could I have some coffee? Me podría agarrar un poquito de café, un poquito, un poco de, de azúcar, right? In that case, pero en la mayoría de los casos, del resto de todos los casos, you use any in questions. Es, of course, would you like es oferta también, offer. Would you like some biscuits too? Gustaría unas galletitas también. Ok, por ejemplo, aquí dice, ¿Puedo tener un té, por favor? Ok, ¿me podría dar un poco de té? Y él dice, of course. Would you like some biscuits too? Biscuits is in British English. And cookies is American English, okay? Is there? Okay, aquí ya cambia la pregunta, look, is there any? Okay, hay algo de vino, porque ya está en su oferta, en su offering, que no se le está ofreciendo, que se está pidiendo. Then here we use any in the question. He said, no, we need to buy. Some. Okay, we need to buy some or uh, you could also use, uh, we need to buy, let's say a few bottles. Okay. Necesitamos comprar algo, algo de vino, right? Or we need to buy unas cuantas botellas. Okay, ya hablando de botellas. Okay, some, a few bottles. Eh, the other one is... How much? Okay, how much, how much flour does she need? If you want to make a cake, ¿cuánta harina se necesita? One pound, two pounds, one kilo, one box, one bag. Then you can say just a little, okay, just a little. Okay, how much flour do we need? Just a little. Si es solo para cocinar, not too much. Have you got any? Ya han visto ustedes la, esta, have you got? Estos ejercicios son británicos. And you can say, do you have? Any potatoes? So we have British. English and here we have American American English okay do you have any potatoes and they say yes yes I have si contestan en britannic okay Yes, I have. Un americano. Yes. ¿Qué es la puede? Ahí tú. Yes, I do. Exacto. Okay. Yes, I have. 
okay and then this one and they say how many how many would you like okay how many potatoes one pound, two pounds, three pounds, so three potatoes. Okay, so then this is the, the quantifiers. Okay, ahorita se las pongo ahí en el WhatsApp. My WhatsApp is not working in this moment. Many, how much? He one here. Okay, check. Check your tap and see if you got it. Let me know, please. Okay, you got it? Yes, okay, good. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, with that page, uh, you can find a lot of um, uh, practice with the quantifiers, a few. Uh, these are uh, extra quantifiers, the ones that you have in the platform. There are some others, right? There are some other, uh, uh, let's say, uh, exercises. That you can use okay so remember that a uh, there, is, there are a lot of uh, combinations. Eh, la recomendación es eh, paraphrase. ¿Se recuerdan que es parafrasear en in inglés? Pueden hacer esto. Parafrasear es. Yes. For example, are there any rabbits? You can use are there. any dogs okay in the street okay and then eh, abajo de cada una si ven ponen are there any dogs in the street okay eh, you can write also are there any uh, apples in the 
free, free GRA for me have a question here. Y ahí van practicando la estructura. Ok, y van practicando vocabulario. Ok, are there any, are there any candies? Are there any people in the classroom? Are there any people here? Eh, Oye, en una de exclusiones. Sí, una, creo que es un vecino por ahí que le ha agarrado. <risa> El, la Navidad temprana, ok, no me creo. No, no, no estamos aquí en guerra, está ahí, todos, están felices. <risa> Right. Ya estoy celebrando que termine inglés. Sí, mire, yo creo que sí, ya están de... Yo les dije que mañana era la reventación y hoy lo hicieron, pero bueno, ni modo. Ok. <risa> then, uh, then we have this one. Ok, entonces eso es para apreciar y lo pueden... Estas en las preguntas, lo pueden hacer con las afirmativas, right? And then we go here, en negativas. And there, there are... Y esto le va dando, aparte de la práctica, que uno va agarrando en la, de acordarse del orden de las palabras, seguridad. There are any, por ejemplo, vean alrededor, ok, there are any, let's see here, there are any balls. No veo ningún balón por aquí. There are any, ah, como no, I have one behind. Le dije que tengo uno de atrás. <laughs> And there are any, let me see, there are any, Pictures? Pictures? No, I have many. Uh, curtains, flags, uh, shoe, uh, shoes, shoes, shoes. No, oh, yes, we do. For me, yes. And then uh, something that I don't have here, probably hot flowers. Okay, there aren't any flowers in this room. Ok, entonces si ustedes siguen esta estructura, les da seguridad porque saben que está correcta, porque solo van sustituyendo palabras. Right, and then you can, eh, ask for example, ya lo quieren aplicar al, a la realidad. There aren't any jobs, eh, any jobs. Many jobs for teachers. Okay. Es un decir, right? There aren't any jobs for lawyers. There aren't any jobs for young people. There are any jobs for young people. Okay. That, that's paraphrasing. Con eso you, you can practice a lot, right? Yo se los mandé en Word para que puedan utilizarlo. Then you can, pueden hacer lo mismo con how many, how many children, for example, how many children would you like to have? Lord, how many children would you like to have? Two. Two. Three, four, five? No. No. <laughs> okay, Two. Brenda. Brenda, how many? How many children? How many babies would you like to have in the future? Your microphone. Your microphone. Brenda, your microphone is off. El micrófono lo tiene. Okay. No, ahorita no children. No, por eso. How many would you like to have? ¿Cuántos le gustaría? How many? Uh, two. 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 Okay. Two. All right. Then, you know, that's it also depends, right? One, two. Two, I think, is the, the medium, right? Yeah, three is uh, un gustito extra, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Sí. Yeah. Uh, four, four, yeah, cuatro, uh, cuatro es lujo, right? Oh, uh, mucho. Yeah. <laughs> no, much. 
Okay, good. And five is is a blessing. I'm gonna win this one, right? I have four. Yeah. <laughs> I have four, right? Good. Okay, very good. Okay, people, tomorrow, eh, vamos a ver al inicio del examen. El, el team, vamos a hacer una revisión del examen. Si tienen alguna duda, mañana la resolvemos, right? About the, the test. Y vamos a tener yeah. una oral practice de unos diálogos, right? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. okay, teacher. Uh, yo tengo una pregunta, pero es sobre un mensaje que mandaron. Uh -huh. que tenemos que imprimir un documento, firmarlo y enviarlo, igual con la fotocopia del DUI. Ah, ok. Eh, eh, ¿Lo tenemos que hacer o ustedes se van a cargar igual que los otros módulos de inscribirnos? Eh, es un trabajo de Holcim. Sí, eso ya lo hacen en Holcim y se lo mandan a... ¿Cómo se llama? Lo trabajan con las oficinas de inglés corporativo. Ah, es uh -huh. que el módulo pasado, antes que comenzáramos este, nos, dijeron, nos hicieron lo mismo. Es que, y sabe, por creo, último dijeron que ya no. ¿Sabes por qué? Porque, porque sí, quisieron ¿no? hacerlo más rápido. Porque si ven, porque si no, ya no se alcanzaba a dar este curso. Se hubiera quedado hasta el otro año. Entonces, yo creo que oh. por esa razón fue que lo hicieron así, de que lo hicieran ustedes. Por lo que por lo general lo hace la empresa de ustedes. Mm, ah. Entonces esa era mi pregunta. Sí, nosotros uh -huh. lo tenemos que hacer esta vez. ¿O no? Como así pasó al inicio de este, grupo, de este sí, módulo. Así es. Dijeron primero que lo íbamos a hacer nosotros y después dijeron que no, que sí, ellos lo hacían. Era la empresa. Uh -huh. Ah, ya. Así Entonces, ¿esta sí, vez bueno. sí, sí nosotros? Sí, porque ahorita nosotros, nosotros preguntamos incluso a Inglés Corporativo, dijeron que en enero, pero no nos han dado fecha del inicio del siguiente, del siguiente curso. Ah, ok. Por eso decía eso, al inicio yo que van a ser dos a tres semanas quizás de... Bueno, dos son seguras. La uh -huh. tercera es probable de que también la tengan como de receso. Entonces hay que practicar okay. bastante para que no se les olvide. Mm. Ok. Ok. Well, Entonces, see you tomorrow, you. ok? Have a good thank night. You. Bye bye. Ok, bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye. Take care.